Hello folks, this is Debar Shibhamik and welcome to my first web tech tutorial video. Today we are going to see how we can speed up our web design process using Chrome. So using the Canary version of Chrome will be my preferred option because it always gets the latest updates before the default version of Chrome. So let's jump in and see how we can improve our web design process. To start with, we can open the Chrome developer tools using the Ctrl Shift and the I button on a Windows PC and the Command option and the I button on a Mac. So as we can see, in the Chrome developer tools, we have so many tabs available like Elements, Network, Sources and the others. But in this video, we are going to focus only on Elements and the Sources tab. So let's start with the Elements tab first. So in the Elements tab, we have two different sections available. In the top section, we can see all the DOM elements that is present in the current web page. And in the bottom section, we can see all the CSS properties and all the CSS selectors that is actually currently getting applied to the currently selected element. So now suppose we want to change some CSS properties of this button. So we can choose this button in three different ways. The first option will be we can directly click the button from this DOM tree available in the right hand top section. The second option will be that we can click on the search icon on top and we can hover over all the elements available in the left side and the element which we want to select we just have to click on it and that's it that element will get selected. And the third option will be we can just right click on an element and click this inspect element menu. So in this way also the element will get selected. So now we can see all the CSS properties available for that button is shown in the bottom section. So now suppose we want to change the font size of this element. So what we can do is we can just click on this element and we can just enter a new value using keyboard. Also we can change the value using the up and the down arrow key of the keyboard. Now we also have the option to add a new CSS property in the current selector. To do that we just need to click here and type in the new values. We also have a built-in color picker available in the Chrome developer tools. And using this, we can change the color of any color related CSS properties of an element. Now suppose we want to change the background color of this button. So we can just click on this color and a color picker will open. So from here we can just choose any color. And also we can just hover in the left hand side and click on any color which we want to select and that color will get selected. Now suppose we want to add a new selector for this button. To do that we have to click and hold on this plus button and choose the file name where we want to add the new CSS selector. So here at first we can uh, define the CSS selector name and after that we can just uh, type in any new CSS properties as we want. Also, we have the option to change the CSS properties for a particular state of that button. To do that, we can see there is a lock button available here. So we have to just click on it. And after that, we have to just click on the state for which we want to add or edit the CSS properties. So I am selecting hover and we can see the CSS properties for the hover state of the button is shown here. So here we can just add any new CSS properties as we want. Okay, so now we know how we can play around with different CSS properties in the Chrome developer tools. But there is one slight problem. So whatever changes we have made up to now, all of these are temporary. 
So that means whenever we are going to close the browser or just refresh the page, all these changes will be lost. So we can fix this problem using the sources tab. In the sources tab, we have to right click in the left hand section and click on this add folder to workspace menu. Then from this window, we have to select the folder inside which all our development files are. And after that, as soon as we select it, there will be a confirm on top and we have to just allow it. Now just hit Ctrl and P and type in the name of any file from our current project. And after you type, you will be able to see the same file two times. The first one will be coming from the server and the second one will be coming from the disk. So you can just identify those by seeing the address. The, so the first one is coming from localhost and the second one is coming from directly the disk. So we are going to select the one which is coming from the server. And here we have to right click and click on this map to file system resource menu. And select the same file which is coming from the disk. And here we have to again click on OK. That's it. So all our project related files are now mapped to the disk. So that means if we go back to the elements tab and make any changes here, all those are going to be detained. So I'm just changing some CSS properties for this button. Also, I'm adding a new CSS selector for this button. And now if we go back to the sublime and open the same file, we'll see that all the changes are detained. Again, we can go back to the sources tab and open the same file using Ctrl and P. And here also we can make changes and those changes are also going to be retained. So we can see those changes are retained. But one thing, so after we are making any changes in the sources tab, we have to press the Ctrl and S button to save those changes to the disk. But if we do any changes in the elements tab, those settings are going to be automatically saved. We don't need to press any button to save those. So by this process, we won't need to jump between the browser and the code editor frequently. We can directly change CSS related stuff in the Chrome developer tools and see the live preview of how it looks. And this process will speed up our web design process significantly. That is it folks and in the next videos we'll see how we can debug or edit our JavaScript files quickly from Chrome developer tools. Thanks a lot for watching this video and don't forget to like, subscribe or comment below. Stay tuned for more web tech tutorials. Bye bye.